Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the CTT batch counting. And up on my screen here I have the pages from the manual and we'll use the count input up mode. So here is my input counting. So my input on CP1 it looks on a leading edge uh, without CP2 on or on the trailing edge of CP22 when CP1 is on. So that is my input type signal, um, which we can have several. We can actually have an encoder. Um, so there's several different modes in which we can have on this uh, multifunctional unit, uh, counter, uh, timer, tachometer. So in our output modes, we have several to ch choose from. In my particular case here, we're gonna use output mode N. And this is N right here. So as uh, we have two set points, we have set point one and set point two. The second one is for the batch set point. We're gonna set that. And the first one is for our count set value. So it goes up, it will turn on the output and maintain that output uh, on until we hit the reset. Now every time we count to the full on the count value, we will increment one on the batch until our set value for the batch is on and then the um, other output will then turn on. So there are two outputs there. So looking back in the manual, that's the mode we want to program and we have different modes that we can actually operate in. So we choose the mode to the applications that we're trying to uh, accomplish. Then we have our counter wiring uh, example and this is how we actually wire in our digital uh, CTT. Then we have our dip switch settings that we can uh, put in and then we have our keypad settings that we have for our unit. So the first thing we do is we will hit and hold the mode key to go into the program mode. And once we're in program mode, we actually want um, counter, which is what we have. Hit mode again. And then we have our function, which is our batch. Our input mode is up, which is correct. Then we have our output mode, which is N. Then we have our speed. Now this is a speed coming into the actual unit. In my particular case here, we're using a relay contact. So we're using it 20 uh, times a second. So that's 200. Hit mode again. And this gives us our decimal point. point. Mode again gives us our, our uh, prescale. So again, we can uh, put engineering units onto the display screen so that we can display real values that to the operator. Hit mode again, and we have our power option. In our case here, we have save. What this means is that our set values for our batch as well as our count value are maintained when the power goes off to the unit. Hitting mode again is our reset, which is set for 20 milliseconds. Then we have our input type, which is PMP, which goes back to the way in which uh, the unit is actually uh, wired in. And mode once again takes us back to our start, which is our count feature. Hitting mode and holding for three seconds will take us back into our run mode. And what you'll notice is that we actually have a count uh, set for 10 here. If we hit mode again, what you'll see is that we have our batch count, which is actually set for three. So our first one set for 10. So let's uh, let's start this and let's turn on our mode here. And we're counting up. And as soon as it hits 10, we get one. So if we go back and right now we're in batch mode, go back into our other mode, you see that we have reached our set value. So let's uh, uh, reset that. using reset number one. And now we'll give it some more pulses. So we've gone to our batch once. And again, we hit our, our output here. And we'll hit stop for our count. We'll hit reset. And what we have, um, let's reset again. There we go. And then what we should see on our batch, if we check, is actually 
value of 2, which we do of 3. So let's go back to our count here. We'll set some more pulses. Now when we hit the value of 10, we have both outputs on now, and that is simply because now our batch has been um, set or determined. We have a value, a present value of 3 and a maintained value of 3, so both outputs are now on. In order to reset that, we use our reset inputs, first of all for the actual count, and then our second reset for our batch, and everything starts again at 0. So that is the batch counter on this versatile uh, digital uh, counter, timer, and tachometer unit. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can also help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content on the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.